Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayur Samveda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Gavya Vasudev and you are watching Study Ashtanga Hridaya Series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates on Samhita. In the last videos, we were discussing Doshopakramaniya Adhyaya of Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Sthana. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access them. Moving with the same chapter. So till now we have seen the management of uh, three doshas and the combination of doshas. So all these uh, doshas when it is attaining the kopavasta or dushti, it will be moving from the sthana. The uh, three uh, doshas are having the specific and uh, samanya sthana and from this sthana, this dosha will be moving uh, to certain other places and thus the vyadhi will be occurring. So how these doshas are moving out of its sthana and how it is moving to other sthanas and similarly the uh, in the shodhana karma we are bringing back this doshas to its normal sthana or this uh, doshas which is present or from the koshta this doshas will be moving to the shakha and thus the diseases will be manifesting and during the shodhana karma we will be bringing back this uh, dosha from the shokha, shakha to the koshta and thus we will be administering the different kinds of shodhana karma especially the vamana and virechana so how these doshas are moving to different sthanas is being told or what are the factors which is responsible for the movement of this doshas are being told vyayamat ushmanas taikshnyat ahita acharanat api koshta shakhasti marmani drudatvan marutasya cha dosha yanti व्यायामात उष्मनः तैक्ष्यात अहित आचरणात अति कोष्टात शाखा अस्ति मर्माणि दृदत्वात मारुतस्य च दोषा यांति व्यायामात उष्मनः तैक्ष्यात अहित आचरणात अति कोष्टात शाखा अस्ति मर्माणि दृदत्वात मारुतस्य च दोषा यांति so first is the movement of dosha from koshta to shakha that is uh, from koshta the dosha will be attaining dushti and this uh, dosha dushti after that it will be moving to the shakha that is uh, shakha uh, is, means the raktadi uh, dhadu and also the twak and also the other different kinds of uh, roga markas so this dosha dushti after attaining the dushti this will be moving to various kinds of roga markas or different parts of the body and thus the diseases will be manifesting so how this dosha is moving from koshta to shakha is mentioned first that is because of the vyayama that is by doing the exercises over exercises or by doing the exercises the uh, doshas will be moving ushmanaha taikshnyat because of the tikshna guna of the ushmana ushmana means the temperature or increased heat or increased temperature so uh, when exposure to acne or uh, atapa or uh, that is sunlight or uh, such exposure to heat substances are there because of the sharpness of that uh, heat substances this dosha will be moving and ahita acharana that is the unsuitable or unhealthy habits whether it can be ahara or vihara because of that also the dosha dushti will be happening and the dosha will be moving and marutasya drutatvat and because of the quick movement of the vada dosha that is vada is having the movement uh, property or chala property is there and vada is fast moving also because of this quick movement of vada dosha this doshas will be moving from one sthana to another and the property of vada dosha is that it will be taking away the pitta and kapha dosha also pitta and kapha dosha cannot move by its own it needs the help of vada dosha to move from one sthana to another so this vada dosha because of its fast movement it will be taking away pitta or kapha along with that also so because of vyayama ushmana taikshnyat ahita acharana and marutasya drudatva this dosha when attains dushti will be moving from the koshta to shakha and in the shakhas they will be making the diseases 
and this doshas when move out of the kosta and reaches the shakha that is shakha refers to rektadi dhatu and atvak and asti that is the bonds and marma that the vital uh, organs and vulnerable points so the doshas which because of this vyayama etc nidanas this dosha attains dushti or kopa and that will be moving to the shakha asti marma etc and thus the various kinds of flexionas can be seen in the patient's sharira next is opposite uh, to that of uh, first all that is from shakha this uh, doshas will be moving towards the kosta so what are the feature uh, factors which are responsible for the movement of dosha from shakha to kosta तथा तेभ्य स्रोतो मुख विशोधना वृद्ध्या अभिष्यना पाका कोष्ठ वायोश्च निग्रहा तथा तेभ्य स्रोतो मुख विशोधना वृद्ध्या अभिष्यना पाका कोष्ठ वायो च निग्रहा तथा तेभ्य स्रोतो मुख विशोधना वृद्ध्या अभिष्यना पाका कोष्ठ वायो च निग्रहा सो फ्रम शाखा Uh, the doshas will be moving to the kosta because of the effect of five factors they are srodo mukha vishodhanat that is the clearing and widening of the srodo mukha that is vishodhana or shodhana of the srodo mukha will be happening and this particular things are happening by the effect of the shodhana karma that is especially whenever we are doing the uh, snehana and svedana prior to the shodhana karma with this is meant for bringing back this uh, dosha which is present in the shakha to the kosta so by doing the snehana and svetana the srodo mukha becomes very clean and it becomes normal and thus the doshas will be moving to the kosta and vritya that is by increase of uh, further increase of the doshas this will be moving from shakha to kosta apishyantana that is the dravi karana of the doshas will happen or the liquefaction of the doshas will be taking place and in such conditions the doshas will move from shakha to kosta and paka that is maturity will be happening or there are three different stages of doshas that is uh, it will be amavastha pachamana avastha and paka avastha so in the paka avastha this doshas will moving back to its normal state or it will be moving towards the kosta and vayoho nigrahad balancing and controlling the vada dosha this uh, doshas will come back to the kosta so when this vada dosha is aggravated or vada dosha is getting dushti this vada dosha will be taking away the pitta and kapha also to other sthanas so when this vada dosha is getting controlled or vada dosha is balanced then vada dosha will also be present in its normal sthana as well as pitta and kapha dosha will also be present in its own sthana so controlling vada dosha helps in bringing back the doshas from shakha to kosta so the uh, doshas which has a in dushti or kopa will be moving from shakha to kosta because of the reasons like srodo mukha vishodhanat vritya and apishyantanat pakat and vayoho nigrahat tatra sthascha vilamperan bhuyo hedu pratikshinah te kaladi balam labdhva kupyandi anyashrayashu api tatra stha cha vilamperan bhuyo hedu pratikshinah ते कालादि बलम लब्ध्वा कुप्यन्ति अन्याश्रयेषु अपि तत्रस्थाः च विलम्पेरन भूयोः हेतु प्रदीक्षिणः ते कालादि बलम लब्ध्वा कुप्यन्ति अन्याश्रयेषु अपि सो दिस दोषस व्हेन इट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम वन स्थान टू अनदर तत्रस्थाः च विलम्पेरन भूयो हेतु प्रदीक्षिणः दैट इज व्हेन दिस दोषस मूव फ्रॉम वन स्थान टू अनदर it will be staying in that sthana for a particular time waiting for the particular hetu that is hetu pratikshinaha bhuyo hetu pratikshina that is the powerful factor or the extrinsic or exciting uh, factor or such nidanas will be uh, searched by this dosha and if such kinds of nidana sevanas or hetu is present then that particular dosha will be producing various kinds of diseases so this dosha when it is attaining the dushti it will be moving out of its sthana and will reach a particular sthana and stay there and waiting for the particular hetu 
ते कालादि बलम लब्ध्वा कुप्यंती अन्याश्रेशु अप्पी and based on the kala that is uh, while staying there for particular time period because of the kala and other factors and also because of the nidana severa or hetu this dosha will attain more of bala and thus it will be uh, producing the diseases and also it will get further aggravated and also it will move to another uh, sthana that is anyashrayeshu another ashraya or another sthana it will be moving so the doshas when it is aggravated or it gets kupita or dushti it will be moving from one its own sthana to another sthana and there it will be waiting for a particular time waiting for the particular hetu and after this hetu is being obtained or by the kala this doshas becomes more belavan and thus this doshas will be uh, further getting increased and also it will be moving to further other sthanas next is sthanika and agantu dosha upakrama that is this doshas will be moving from one sthana to another and will be producing diseases so how to manage this doshas and when this doshas are moving from one sthana to another which dosha has to be treated that is in the actual sthana um, the dosha actual sthana that dosha will be present and to that sthana another one dosha may be coming so which uh, dosha we have to uh, give the management that is the dosha which is having or present in its own sthana we call it as sthanika dosha and the other dosha which is coming from other sthana we call it as agantuja dosha so which dosha has to be given management first is being told तत्र अन्य स्थान संस्थेशु तदीयाम अबलेशु तु कुर्याद चिगिल्साम स्वामेव बलेन अन्य अभिभाविशु आगंदुम् शमेय दोषम् स्थानिनम् प्रदिकृत्य वा तत्र अन्य स्थान संस्थेशु तदीयाम अबलेशु तु कुर्याद चिगिल्साम स्वामेव बलेन अन्य अभिभाविशु आगंदुम् शमेय दोषम् स्थानिनम् प्रदिकृत्य वा तत्र अन्य स्थान संस्थेशु तदीयाम अबलेशु तु कुर्याद चिगिल्साम स्वाम एव बलेन अन्य अभिभाविशु आगंदुम् शमये दोषम स्थानिनम् प्रदिकृत्य वा so the sthanika dosha is the uh, in the original state or original sthana which all doshas are present that is called as sthanika dosha and to a particular sthana if a dosha other than that of uh, that particular sthana is coming that is called as aganduja dosha so anya sthana samsteshu tadiya abaleshu tu swam eva chigilsam kuryad if a particular dosha is moving to another sthana and that is abala then in such condition the sthanika dosha has to be given more importance and its management has to be given first that is if a dosha is moving to another sthana and that is very abala or it is very uh, less strength or uh, it is not powerful then in such condition that sthanika dosha has to be managed first balena anya abhibhavishu and in case this dosha which is moving towards the other sthana and it is more powerful and it is also taking the influence on other doshas or it is making uh, problems or it is uh, overcoming the other doshas then in such conditions that agantu dosha has to be managed first so in the uh, sthanika dosha or in, at a particular sthana the sthanika dosha is more powerful and the agantu dosha which is coming from other sthana is abala and in such conditions we have to go for the management of sthanika dosha and in a particular sthana the sthanika dosha is very weak and the aganduja dosha is very powerful and it is overpowering the sthanika dosha then in such conditions that aganduja dosha has to be managed first later the sthanika dosha has to be given management आगंदुम् दोषम् शमेत् स्थानिनम् प्रतिकृत्या and this management is having the uh, reaction like once the agandu dosha is being treated it will be giving the management for the sthanika dosha also and once the sthanika dosha is managed it may be giving the management or it will cure the aganduja dosha also this kind of management whether we have to go for first managing the sthanika or aganduja dosha depends on the degree of variation of this dosha or degree of dushti of the doshas has to be understood 
based on that we have to uh, decide whether we have to give the management for the sthanika dosha or aganduja dosha so which dosha is more predominant or which dosha is more balavan or which is more powerful such dosha has to be managed first that is whether it is aganduja or sthanika which is more powerful that dosha has to be managed first and by that management the other dosha may also get cured or if it is not getting cured then next further the sthanika or aganduja uh, dosha chigilsa has to be done so this is how we have to understand the dosha avastha and we have to go for the management so this is how based on the certain factors the doshas will be moving from one sthana to another and it will be staying there for a particular time and thus it will be uh, getting more and more bala or strength and it will be producing various kinds of diseases and based on the strength or power of the dosha dushti we have to decide which dosha has to be given management first that is either sthanika dosha or aganduja dosha has to be given management based on the dosha dushti Today we have discussed a portion of Doshopakramaniya Adhyaya from Ashtanghardya Sutra Sthana and we will be continuing the same chapter in the upcoming videos. For more updates on Samhita, make sure you subscribe the channel. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.